Insight meets all those same value propositions, but it's done on brand new technology and it expands the capabilities to include things like Portal, ArcGIS Online, and deeper, deeper information about how your users are using the applications. How many users are using the application? What tools are they using? So we're getting really specific from, is this map service working? All the way to, how are users doing it? And it all begins with this dashboard up here on the screen. This is our summary view. And because it's more interesting when things actually happen, Drew begged permission to actually break something. So I want you to keep your eyes on this right here. This is a Geocortex application, and Drew, quietly on the other screen, is going to break it for us while I walk you through this dashboard. The way this dashboard works, it's meant to sit up on the wall or sit up on a monitor beside you, and it gives you a high-level understanding of all the main components that you're monitoring. These are things like your actual web mapping applications, ArcGIS server instances. These are things like your physical servers or your portals. And as things happen and alarms occur, these tiles will actually bubble around, move around, the numbers will change. So Drew's going to work on that. And what he's going to do is he's going to intentionally break one of our sites. Now, we don't recommend that you break your sites on purpose. But for demo purposes, it's going to work out fantastically well. And what you're going to see here is he's going to intentionally cause an alarm and you'll see how that affects the dashboard. One of the things that's new about Insight that Optimizer never did was this idea of actually monitoring not only the ArcGIS infrastructure and the whole ArcGIS platform, but also your Geocortex Essentials infrastructure. So you're monitoring Essentials instances, essential sites, and Essentials applications. Now, we'll wait and see this. We may move on and come back to this dashboard. I have an alarm. You have an alarm. All right, let's see it. Drew's going to bring it up on the screen. Here we come. That's wonderfully small. If I walk over here, I can read it. <laughs> Alarms fired on website probe collector, HTTP response, GE demo, oh, landscape. There you go. All right, we'll come back to the dashboard. Let's move on. This is not just a pretty picture, this is an interactive display. So there's an alarm here on Geocortex Essentials and Drew's gonna dive over to our status view. And status is all about answering the question, are things working properly right now or aren't they? And it's an interactive view. You can see over on the left hand side you've got all your major GIS infrastructure pieces. You've got your physical servers monitoring things like CPU, network, memory. You've got portals for ArcGIS Online and for your portal for ArcGIS for server. You've got physical ArcGIS server deployments, including clusters and all their beauty. You've got Geocortex Essentials instances, sites, Geocortex web mapping applications, as well as websites that are part of your GIS infrastructure. So you can navigate it that way, or you can actually do drill down. So Drew's going to show you an example where he's going to go through to a specific site. It's going to show you that the test site is not working properly. We're going to drill in. We can see that there's two active alarms, including one that fired three minutes ago, based on the fact that it could no longer find the map service that Drew broke. Good job, Drew. And there is that status code down below. So as you interact with this, you can rapidly drill down. Where's the error? Where's the error? Where's the error? And you can cross-link from point to point.